Hello, hello, beloved. I am so excited to say that this video is made in partnership with Artsabox. Now, real quick, before I dive into telling you what Artsabox is all about, I want to give you a quick PSA. So you may be noticing that this video is not going up um, on my normal upload schedule, which is every Sunday at 7 p.m. Central. And that is because I have all of these ideas for videos that I want to make um, and making videos once a week is kind of restrictive. Now, I can't commit to two videos every week because I know my schedule will not allow that and I won't be able to keep up with that, but I want to occasionally release an extra video every now and again, maybe on a Wednesday or a Thursday, depending on when the video is ready to go up. So my PSA is subscribe, turn on all notifications so that you don't miss these bonus videos that I will be posting uh, every once in a while. So yeah, okay, let's get into Arts Up Box. Okay, so first of all, what is Arts Up Box? Well, their tagline is the Holy Land Delivered. So the awesome people from Arts Box reached out to me to do this unboxing video with them. And essentially, they are a subscription service where uh, quarterly you receive their box and each box is from a particular region of the Holy Land. So this one is from the Golan Heights and every quarter it switches and what the amazing people do at Arts of Box is they find various um, items crafted by artisans in that particular region. So it is a Christian subscription box that is curated with items like handmade crafts, food, spices, uh, scripture, just various things that support um, small businesses in Israel and help bring Christians closer to the Holy Land that we hear about in the Bible. So it's this really awesome service and I'm so excited to unbox it with you all. And since this video was made in partnership with Arts of Box, you can use my discount code down below to get a 25% off discount on your subscription box. Real quick too, uh, I want to read to you from their website uh, what their name, Artsa, means. Uh, so we have a, a Bible quote, first of all. I will bless those who bless you, and all the families of the earth shall be blessed through you. And they went out towards the land, Artsa. Genesis chapter 12, verses 3 through 5. So from their website, it says, Artsa is Hebrew for towards the land. Inspired by Genesis chapter 12, verses 3 through 5, our name is meant to capture the experience we hope to bring you, namely a journey towards the land of Israel, a land with rolling hills and dusty sands, a land that is flowing with milk and honey, a land with a rich history and a vibrant future, a land filled with faith. And promise. They also say on their website that every box includes something for the soul, something to inspire, something to learn, uh, something to taste, something to share, something for the body, something to cook, and something to cherish. Okay, so we're going to switch over to first person POV and I'm going to unbox the items. All right, so I have not seen what the items are are yet. So this unboxing is completely fresh um, experience for me, just like it is for you. So let's get started. Hello. Okay, so we have our arts box here. And all of these items are handpicked and locally sourced. purple box here and I was 
was told that the Golanites are known for their lush landscapes, beautiful flowers, and so that's why this box is a lovely purple color. I think every box is a different color that correlates with the region it comes from. All right. Sorry if I sound a little stuffed up. I'm just getting over a cold, but I was so excited to open this box that I didn't want to wait any longer. So let's go ahead and get into it. So this is the first time that I'm opening this box. I don't know what is in here. I did not sneak a peek on the website to see. So your viewing of this is my first viewing of this as well. Okay, so right off the bat, we have some welcome papers in here. Okay, let's see what we have in this little arts sleeve. Oh, okay, so I believe um, this sort of details all the things that we're going to be finding in the box, as well as info about the... Um, specific artisans. So, let's see what we got. Ooh, um, looks like sumac roast chicken. That sounds yummy. Nice recipe card here. That's gonna be fun to make. Oh, and this is pretty. Wow, look at those colors. That's awesome. Postcard of Gamla Fortress. Neat. Looks like maybe, yep, another postcard here. Oh, wow. Snow. I definitely don't think of snow when I think of the Holy Land, so that's really cool to see an image with these mountains and snow and everything. And this is. says what's in your box. Okay, so this lists everything that is in the box. I'm not going to read it yet because I want to be surprised. And here we have all of our amazing artisans. I will go back and reference these when I um, find the item that they correlate to do. Next, we have this lovely image from the Golan Heights. Really pretty. And let's see, we have a um, sort of description of what the Golan Heights is, as well as some beautiful pictures quote from Psalm 133. It says, Behold how good and pleasant it is when brothers dwell in unity. It is like the dew of Hermon, which falls on the mountains of Zion. For there the Lord has commanded the blessing, life forevermore. That was one of our postcards, too. Let's see which one was that. That was this one with the snow-capped mountains, so it's really cool to make that um, visual connection between a psalm and this very real location. Alright, here we go and do our items. Everything is packaged really pleasantly. There's a um, some nice, like, padding here. Looks recyclable, too, so that's nice. Oh, some crinkles. Alright, let's see what our first item is. Alright, we have Shalva tea. Yes, I love me some tea. I, I do 
always have to take it decaf because um, caffeine does not do nice things to me and so I also like to drink tea a lot. Ooh, and I see this is caffeine free, so that's exciting. Let's see. The Golan Heights, a plateau rising straight up from the Sea of Galilee with snowy peaks feeding countless springs is home to an array of rare plants found nowhere else in Israel. Ooh, they're inspired by local plants found across different regions. Nourishing caffeine-free blends, each contain a little taste of shalva, Hebrew for tranquility. Let's see, so it's got lemongrass, rose petal, lemon verbena, spearmint, and sage. Very excited to try this. And this tea was from Artisan David Ross. And on the back you would be able to read David's story. That's really cool. Okay, let's see what's next. We have some spices, some rose barak sourced from their ancient origins, sumac. Wow, I've never seen, well, that's not true. I have seen a spice this red. I guess paprika is this red, but like, it's this really interesting, deep red. It almost looks like red velvet. I, I'm not sure if the red is really showing up on the camera so much, but it looks like this sort of like salty red velvet. It looks very interesting. It is crushed sumac, which I'm assuming goes with the uh, recipe that we saw earlier. It has the nutrition facts on the back. That's awesome. I'm filming this during the day and it's spring, so <laughs> of course my neighbor is out doing something to their lawn right now. I'll try to cut out the sound as much as possible. We'll see how this goes. Uh, so it says, inspire any dish with a pinch of rose barak sumac and return to Mother Earth. <sighs> All right. Nice crinkles here. And this um, item comes from Artisan Meredith Rose Barak. it does say it's using the Artsa sumac chicken recipe and here is her story on the back oh boy next we have some chocolate and actually white chocolate happens to be my favorite chocolate possibly I'm also a milk chocolate girl, not really dark chocolate, so <laughs> this white chocolate is very exciting. It's called a new chocolate mania. Love that. From De Carina. Chocolatiers for three generations. Nice. Let's see, it says the Chocolate Mania series from De Carina is a magical journey of artistic chocolate creation. It began with a family spanning three generations on three different continents that together created one world of unique quality chocolate. Our creations combine European accuracy, South American passion, and Israeli innovation to create an exciting mix of contrasting flavors, delicacy, and softness resulting in a flavorful chocolate experience that is truly enjoyable. Enjoy. Oh, that sounds awesome. It is Sunday today, and so I'm filming this when it's still lit, <laughs> but it is Sunday today, so I think I will have to try a bite of this today. This item comes from our 
artisan Karina Chapelinski and I like it it also says how to enjoy at the bottom and it says with a warm cup of coffee sounds good and here is her story all right this one is going to take a little bit of unwrapping box. Okay, so this set of cards was included. I'm thinking that these different cards give you different configurations and you need to replicate those with the shapes you are given. That's cool. Let's see, and then on here it says Gaia's Tangram and sort of gives you a reference for what the cards mean.
this does to me evoke a very colorful, rich, lush landscape. <gasps> That's awesome. That is perfect for springtime and summertime, too. There's a lot of summery colors in here. I just wanted to read a little bit more about this artist. It says his designs of Judaic art are based upon a fusion of traditional motifs and ancient Jewish manuscripts with modern and oriental art. Wow, it's really cool. Let's see, it looks like um, that art piece is for the premium subscribers. They partnered with the artist um, Emmanuel to create this stunning hand-painted piece of art. So it looks like he partnered with them to create this specifically for the Artsa box. That's really cool. All right, y'all, last thing. Looks like we got a box within a box, and it is the Maranatha, the Wise Virgin's Parable Clay Oil Lamp and Filler Set. It is Jesus period Rebecca Pottery. That's awesome. Description card says it is ancient olive oil lamp and jug replicas from the time of Jesus discovered in the caves of the Colonites. <gasps> That's really cool. Okay, let's unbox this box. Hello, welcome back. I'm actually not a desk Rowan. I'm dinner table Rowan right now because it was easier to film here. So let's take a little rundown of the items and see what I thought of them after getting to use them. 
Okay, so first of all, I got my tea right here. I did make um, a cup of this earlier in the week, but I made another cup so that I could try it live for you and give you my immediate thoughts. So let's give a sip. It's good. It's good. I had to get the box to remind myself what is actually in it. So the ingredients are lemongrass, rose petal, lemon, verbena, spearmint, and sage. Okay, let me try it again. So I feel like the main thing I taste is the spearmint right away. That's especially the first thing you smell too, which that's sort of listed near the end. And I don't know if these are like in order of, you know, how much is in it, but definitely the spearmint. Um, some lemon too, probably. I don't really taste rose petal, but I don't really know what rose petal tastes like anyway. And you know what? What is verbena? What is lemon verbena? Can somebody tell me that? Um, cause I see that like all the time, but I don't know what it means. I should probably look it up. I feel like I can taste the sage. It feels, or it tastes sort of, um, herbal like that. I mean, <laughs> duh, Rowan, it's herbal tea, but, um, the sage in particular and the spearmint, I feel like stand out. I, uh, I also tried this cold too. There are instructions on the box um, to make it cold. I think I definitely preferred it hot. It tastes um, it tastes like something I would really enjoy if I was sick, which I am getting over a cold currently, so it is nice. Um, but when I made it cold, it sort of lost some of the taste a bit. Um, so I think I'll mainly enjoy this um, hot. I didn't add any sugar or anything to it, so I'm tasting it just how it is meant to be on its own. Okay, another item was the um, sumac spice. I have not had a chance to try that yet. I um, I am going to make that, or use use the spice with the recipe that I got on a dinner for next week. Um, so I think what I'll do is probably just like update you all in a community tab post or on Instagram or both um, and just let you know how that turned out but let's see we also have these chocolates I tried one of these on Sunday they're very tasty not only are they white chocolate but they have little um like uh like cocoa pieces inside I'm going to show you here is what they look like. You can see the little cocoa pieces and then they have their logo on the front, De Carina. Okay, I'm gonna refresh my memory. They're tasty. Um, they taste like what I expect white chocolate to taste like. I do like the little cocoa pieces inside. It's sort of reminiscent of like cookies and cream, but it's a little bit different. Um, because they're just, I don't know, like more chocolatey or something, but they have, they create a nice like texture, uh, in them. I feel like I could just like <laughs> down these one after the other, especially cause they're not individually wrapped. Actually, they come in like one bag. Um, yeah, the card said to enjoy it with coffee. I have not done that yet, but I will soon. Let's light our candle we got and see what that smells like lit. I have not lit this yet, so let's see. It's not the smartest thing to smell a candle while it's lit. Um, trying hard to figure out how to smell this without burning my nose off, but I think I mentioned earlier it's a very fresh scent. I'm very bad at sort of pinpointing what scents I smell, and I don't, I don't see that. 
sort of listed anywhere. Also, I did not have a card for this in in the box. I'm not sure if this like didn't come with a card, um, but so I don't, I can't like tell you much about this particular one because I don't have like an artisan card. Um, oh, but like the scent reminds me of something uh, like berry almost, but Anyway, I don't know, but it smells good. Let's see, I wanted to real quick point out that I missed something on this card originally. Um, they have this cool little section. I don't know how well you can see that, but uh, it's a learn Hebrew section. Um, and it gives you the different, some different words and their, how to spell them in Hebrew and then how to pronounce them. So let's, let's go through them and read them in ASMR. First word we have is flower. Perach. 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 I'm just assuming that the CH is a H sound. The next word is spring. Aviv. 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 Next word. A hike or a trip. Deol, 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 deol. Um, ancient is the next word. Atik, 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 atik. And finally. See, next I'll mention the little uh, wooden box with the game. That was a lot of fun actually. So I uh, I played it with my husband and so what it is is that you you get a card and you have to arrange the tiles um, based on what the picture of that card is and the first seven cards, the first seven or eight cards, um, you can play with a partner because it comes with eight pieces, but um, each of them is doubled. So uh, you each get four pieces and you can sort of like race each other to get finished first. My husband won both times, though to be fair, it did take both of us a while because even the first one was like kind of tricky. But um, then the rest of the cards, and I, there's 20 something, I think. Um, use all eight pieces uh but it was a lot of fun sort of trying to race to the finish and um get the puzzle done first so we have a few more we can do and i'm excited to see if i can catch up to him and i have our um bird tree piece of art displayed on our mantle very excited to add a splash of uh color up there and now, finally, the pièce de résistance, the oil lamp set. So there was actually a QR code on the box that I could follow to a link that told me how to use this. So this will be the first time that I am attempting this. Hopefully it goes well. Here we go. Maybe should have practiced first. We'll see. Okay, so I have put olive oil in here. I'm going to pour it in. moment of truth.
That was my unboxing of Artsa Box. Thank you again to Artsa Box for partnering with me for this video. So again, if you use the link down in the description, uh, you can access their website. And if you choose to get a subscription, be sure to use my discount code GRANTUSPEACE25 to get a 25% off discount on your subscription box. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. Honestly, the people at Arts of Box are so nice and friendly and welcoming and just would be so glad to answer any questions that you may have about it. You can also check out some of their previous boxes and, and things like that on their website. So anyway, thank you again for joining me. God bless you, beloved, and may he, as always, grant you.